Yes. Uh huh. The uh, medulla, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the lowest part of the brain that connects with the spinal cord, oh. also called the medulla oblongata, <laughs> the marrow, the marrow of bones, pith or inner substance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The medulla oblongata. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, and there's Medusa, a jellyfish. Shut up. Yeah. There's a jellyfish named Medusa. <laughs> then there's Medusa, a mythical gorgon. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Having hair of live snakes. Yes. Picture of her. <laughs> you know, I want to tell you, I had a personal life experience where I had some thoughts that really were surprising to me. <laughs> um, I was traveling back from uh, having gone to college in Hawaii. Yes. And my stepfather had attempted suicide. <laughs> And it was a good uh, excuse for me to drop out of college. Yes. Mm. Mm. Well, I was on a Greyhound bus with uh, with myself. Yeah. Probably maybe 21 years old. Might have been 20 years old. Yeah. And I remember it being somewhat of a dark time. I was sitting in the back of the bus with a woman that well, was a professional uh, dancer. <laughs> she removed her clothing for, for money. Yes. <laughs> And we were kind of talking to each other, and I told her that I was moving back to Spokane. And before I moved to Hawaii, I had a house, and I had a roommate, and multiple roommates. And I thought I'd move back because my my personal life was, well, it, when you're when you're when a parent attempts suicide, you think, well, I better go back and make sure everybody's okay. Yeah. Well, she was a very petite woman, and I thought, well, why don't why don't we just party together? Yeah. You know, maybe drink something or, you know, do what we do. Well, it was really interesting is that she was going to Pullman. I was going to Spokane and she called me after she had gotten to Pullman. She said, well, I'm going to, I'm going to go back to wherever I was, some sort of strip club that she worked at. Ouch! And I thought, well, why don't you stop by? Well, we were there. Yes. And when my sexual nerve endings connected with her sexual nerve endings, I looked at her and I thought, my gosh, uh, that's a Medusa. <laughs> it was kind of a weird experience where I had never, ever pushed a woman off of me before. Yes. But I thought there was something very, very wrong with um, with her spirituality. <laughs> she was a Medusa. Yes. And I could see her soul. <laughs> Well, what happened was she had my phone number. Now, eventually I'd moved from the location that I was at to another location. <laughs> and it was a, another very, very difficult time for myself. I didn't even have a mattress to sleep on. I was sleeping on a box spring. Yeah. And a box spring usually has slats, like a full box spring bed. Yes, yes. Well, she was having some difficulty with her, her relationship at that time. She called me and said, can I stay at your place? <laughs> And I was thinking, you know what? Uh, this woman would walk around my actual apartment without her clothes on, bathe in my bathtub. But for three days, yes, I refused to have sexual intercourse with her. Yeah. Not that she was unattractive. No, she was an attractive woman. And um, it was difficult for myself. Yes. But I thought if I actually had sex with that woman, I would probably die from the experience of um, um, maybe an STD or some other influence on my person. Poop! Now, um, sometimes when you decide to not have sex with somebody, yeah, it's um, it's probably a good decision to not do it. Yes. <laughs> well, she left, and, um, you know, it wasn't six months later. I was living at my grandmother's house. Oh, I think I was going to go to... Um, Green River Community College, or I'd moved over there for some sort of work or something. Yes. And um, I had went to a local convenience store where they sell adult men magazines. Oh, sorry. <laughs> where women don't have their clothing on. No. The same woman <laughs> was in an adult man magazine. Yes, it was. And I looked at her with the other model that she was with. Yes, she was. And I thought, you know, it's probably good I didn't do that. 